on my exposure since uh, then. Prepare me for these roles because uh, even if I am not a doctor of medicine, it does not mean I cannot invest in a hospital because there are still some skills that we have that are required to make that hospital a success in terms of a business enterprise, you know. Uh, because a private hospital is still a business organization. Yeah. It still must look at costs, it, it must look at income, and it must try to make sure that its income is always higher than its cost. So the same principles apply. You can run furniture factory, you can run any kind of business, you apply more or less the same corporate governance principles you know, everywhere. And if you're, if you're true to them, you, you stand a good chance of uh, success. You know. So in terms of my involvement, as I've said, we have been involved over time in gaming. We have been involved in um, pharmaceutical production, our, our company, Biomedical Limited, you know, which uh, is on record as the first indigenous company to produce intravenous fluids. You know. We are now expanding into other areas of pharmaceutical production like syrups and all that. We have quite a large number of syrups in the market there. You know. And uh, by the grace of God, very soon, we are, we are also going to come out with our tablets. You know. We are involved in construction. You know. uh, we are involved in construction, PPP with government. We are involved in construction as partners with individuals too. There are individuals out there who have tracts of land, technicals, 20 hectares in very good places but they don't have the knowledge and the capital to build them. We collaborate with them and we build based on agreement. Okay. And we all share whatever is there to be to be done. And we do that large scale. We actually do that large scale. So we are involved in all of that too. So my own role there is just to coordinate the resources. Because that's actually what entrepreneurs do. Yeah. Put the resources together and let them work for the for the good of everybody yeah. and for the good of the company. That's what I do. That's so I'm like a facilitator. Mm -hmm. right. Wow. That uh, uh, you make it seem so easy. Uh, but I know that it can't be that easy because uh, a lot of people have tried their hand in several businesses and uh, they are not making the best of it. Uh, most especially in this challenging time of our economy uh, where uh, electricity, which is the bedrock of any uh, enterprise, has been very fluctuating and not stable. And uh, how have you been able to combat most of the challenges that come up, most especially uh, electricity, as I have mentioned? And, uh, you, 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 you spoke about it's not being easy. Yes. Um, if you see somebody who is a, a general, uh, I've come through. he has come through a lot. Uh, for every successful business mm -hmm. that an entrepreneur uh, is able to do, he has probably failed four times. Mm -hmm. You understand? Uh, entrepreneurs are never afraid of failure. They take failure as one of the possible things. But you see, you are not successful because you have not failed. You are successful because you have not allowed failure to stop you. Mm -hmm. So we've had a number of failed, failed businesses too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, but what is important is that for your successful businesses to be able to cover up the, the failed businesses, uh, it's very, very important. You know, because if you say you are an entrepreneur, it means that you really can't
can find yourself investing in in just anything you know mm -hmm. uh -huh. now challenges uh, working in this kind of environment I would say it's a very hostile very unencouraging environment mm -hmm. and in and I would say that in recent times it has become more so extremely extremely discouraging environment first let's start with manufacturers mm. most manufacturers depend on foreign, for, for, foreign imports at least of raw materials mm -hmm. in a situation where you can't even get sufficient forex to buy mm. at a reasonable rate a situation where you are compelled to buy forex from the so-called alternative market which actually is the main market now mm -hmm. and the official market has become the alternative <coughs> in that kind of situation where the forex rate gallops mm, by the minute what kind of planning can you do yet planning is essential how can your plan and your action look alike a manufacturer who depends heavily <coughs> on forex but is unable to assess the forex even if you want to pass on your cost to the consumer there's just that much there's just that far you can go mm. before it becomes uh, difficult for you. And this affects a lot of things, not just manufacturers. When, when building construction, we build, how many of the things we use for buildings are found in Nigeria today? A lot of the things we use are also imported and at what point we buy the forex for the importation it's a very unfriendly business environment so there's a problem of foreign exchange there's a problem of of friendly regulations every industry has regulators yeah. but when the regulations stifle rather than encourage it makes business very unattractive mm. <coughs> there's a problem of manpower quality which we don't look at Mm. quality of manpower mm -hmm. it has dropped significantly yes. <clears throat> hence you do not find situations where people who ought to give better quality service are able to do so forget about their qualifications The qualifications don't match the quality of what they will give you. So you have to keep training and retraining, training and retraining every day. That problem is there. Everybody who knows how to do anything these days amongst the youth are Yahoo people. Mm. The few who don't are already abroad or on their way to, to go. It's an important problem if you don't have the right quality of manpower to be able to achieve your goals, then you have a problem. The problem of security affects business in a way that is so significant as to become unbelievable. There are parts of the country we can't even hope 
to transfer people to. Mm. And even these places where people are, they are never sure. Just this, this, this afternoon, I was informed that one of our one of our staff in the construction area, whose job is to to produce uh, paving stones for the buildings, I was informed that he had just been released by kidnappers, mm. and they asked for. 5 million, eventually he was able to get 1 million for them. A man who produces paving stones for us. And where will he get money from? So the issue of security has become a major problem, making it difficult for companies to achieve their goals. Sometimes we give vehicles to staff and they tell us, please don't brand it, I don't want to be kidnapped. Mm. Yet, when you give vehicles to staff and you want to brand it, you are trying to use it to enhance your own visibility. Mm -hmm. But you won't insist on branding it because if they don't kidnap him, you will not say, oh, but you told them not to brand his car. What kind of country are we in? How are we going to do business like that? Okay, so there's the issue of security. I'm listing this thing so that you know that it's not just the issue mm. of light, yes. which of course, mm. which issue of power is very, very significant. Mm. But it's not becoming... It's, uh, it's just, no, well, it will be my name, but it's, it's just one of the, it's just one of the mm. gigantic uh, monsters that, mm. we, that, that, that we are contending with. All of them, very, very gigantic. A single one of them is enough to bring you down, and then you have like eight of them. You are continuing with, and you are still expected to do what? To report a positive outcome. No security, everything is expensive, some are even not available. There are some of our operations where we look for spare parts, we find it so difficult to get spare parts. And when we get some of them are from China, they are some standard sometimes. You know, with Chinese products, you have to know which one you are buying and which one you are not buying. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they give you those that are good. Sometimes mm -hmm. they give you those that are not so good. You know, things that never used to happen, they're happening now. So the business climate is survival of the fittest. Even companies that are pro producing, that are reporting profit, are repo reporting some optimal profit. They are not meeting what they ought to be meeting by way of uh, profit. Okay. Mm. All because the business environment is exceptionally hostile. It makes things very difficult. You know. Uh, but we have no alternative. Are we going to do without working? Mm -hmm. It's not as if we have alternatives. We have to do business. We have to work. So we just trudge on like that. But this is not the best of times at all. This is not the best of times. Mm. 